This is Hollywood Junket. My name is Craig Reese, and in just a minute, we'll be talking to Keegan Farrell, who is on Team Nick from this season's The Voice. He just had a crazy battle round, was about to go home, but got saved by Nick. He was on Team Blake, but now he's Team Nick, and looks like he's joined, so he'll be on the call in just a minute. Yes! Awesome. Hey. Great. Keegan, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Very exciting. So first of all, we just saw the battles. A little crazy. Got a yeah, first question is, yeah, yeah. Um, were you surprised to be paired with Jordan when you found out? I was. I was. That's not who I would expect to be paired with. I had in my mind that I was probably going to go against, against Cam just because mm. we're kind of more pop. R&B guys on, on Team Blake. Um, so Jordan probably was the last person I would expect it to go against. But I think it made for a really unique pairing. Um, I think our voices went together really well, like surprisingly well. So I, lo I loved it. I thought y'all sounded great together. Like it was really neat. And thank you. And how was it like preparing for that battle with your mentor and getting ready for that? It was fun. I, I've always been somebody who loves having – a goal and a challenge to to set my mind to and work and chip away at it. And one thing I really appreciate about Jordan is he shares that same mindset where he he just he just wanted to work on it every single day. So we pushed each other. We worked really hard on it. And um, you know, Blake was obviously a big help in shaping the song in a way that uh, brought it to the next level. So. It was it was a great experience for sure. I'm really happy I ended up with Jordan because he he just pushed me and elevated in a way in a way that I don't think anyone else could have. So, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah. I've been interviewing uh, voice contestants for a few years now, and I've always said I think it's kind of cool if you do get to work with multiple coaches. I know it's stressful because it usually means you're about to go home, but then you get saved or stolen. But now you're Team Nick, so I'd like to know how what. What were like the similarities and contrasts between the way Blake prepared you for battles and Nick prepared you for knockouts? Yeah, I think, um, you know, they're, they're both obviously super knowledgeable about the industry and music. They're just, they're really smart dudes. And one thing I think that people kind of, that I, I figured too, is that they'd be these kind of larger than life characters, but they're really down to earth. They didn't feel weird or scary at all it just felt like i was hanging out with any of my friends who are musicians and just getting to work on a song and it was it was great working with them they were just extremely down to earth and they made me feel really comfortable um i think their personalities are just different they're both very yeah. big but blake is you see his personality in the show he's he's funny he's sarcastic um and nick nick isn't as like sarcastic as blake you know blake's so quick on his feet and funny i think i think nick is like a little more straightforward Blake's covenant kind of a jokester so that was a little bit of an adjustment but they're both incredible guys who are obviously been wildly successful because they're they're hard workers and they've you know they got a lot of talent so it was it was yeah. like it was honestly just as cool to have worked with two I yeah I think that's great so yeah I'd want to work with as many coaches as possible in, yeah. in that situation you know yeah. <laughs> I'd take advantage of the opportunity Absolutely. So obviously it's been talked about in the show, but you come from a big like music producing background. How has that experience helped your performance side and your singing side of, of your art? Yeah, I started my musical introduction was really with piano lessons. So I grew up being a musician more than I was a singer. Um, I mm. would sing around the house sometimes, but I, I usually didn't sing and I definitely didn't sing in front of people. So Growing up as a musician and taking piano lessons and focusing on piano, that I think really helped just like from a musical standpoint, helped with ear training. I, I kind of, since I knew the piano, once you know piano, you kind of know the basis for like how all yep. music. So then I started learning guitar and then I started singing with piano. So I think really anything that I've done musically, I can kind of trace it back to learning piano and having grown a really, really strong musical foundation as far as my knowledge of how music just fits together um mm -hmm. they kind of you know so like you said producing playing writing um all those things i think help you just be a more uh, intentional musician on and on the show that's a really important thing just be able to make like 
tasteful decisions on where you want to go with the song and how you make it your own and then how you keep it the same so people don't you know people want to hear a song a certain way a lot of times so it just gives you a good way to know where you should sprinkle in some of your own thing and then where you should keep it is the classic way that everyone knows yeah very cool i have to say real quick i see lots of people requesting to join the interview unfortunately that's not going to happen but if you have questions you can post them and if i see them and if we have time we'll definitely get to those questions but thank you all for joining and, and requesting to join the video but can't do that it's a little bit of a risk um <laughs> so keegan what has nick taught you that has helped your performance and like your stage presence while on the show yeah that's a big thing for me is how can i loosen up you know i i get a little nervous sometimes and i think one thing that nick has helped me understand is you know it's great that i had this musical background growing up being a musician growing up training my ear growing up learning about harmony and chords and all that and it's good to be a musician but at the same time on a show like this it's about connecting with the audience it's about telling a story it's about emoting and it's about making people feel what you're singing so he's really helped me shift the mindset from all right this part i got this note that i'm going to nail and then it goes to this note and then this part gets a little quieter and then you know it, it, he's taking me out of my head a bit and just help me learn what it means to move past that and just perform you know just mm -hmm. people instead of worrying about hitting a bunch of right notes if that makes sense yeah <laughs> yeah well that's awesome i can't wait to see that advice show in the knockouts which will be coming up in a few weeks so that's going to be exciting uh just a random last question for you we read that you eat a donut every day and i was wondering what your favorite type of donut is I, I go for the Boston cream at, at Dunkin' Donuts. So every, okay. every I start my day, today included. So <laughs> Yes, good. Did you happen to check out either Randy's Donuts or Trejo's Donuts when you were in LA? I didn't, no. I went to a place okay. called Ed's Donuts, but I didn't go to either of those mm. places. Yeah, Randy's is famous, and I love Trejo's Donuts too. So, yeah. Which Just some suggestions. What part of town are they in? Uh, Randy's is Inglewood. Trejo, I think, is West Hollywood, I think. It's a little separate from each other. But not, not impossible to get to, for sure. I'm going to have to try, try them out, because I, I love donuts. They're my guilty pleasure, for sure. So <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Keegan, I'll let you go, but thank you so much for joining us. It was really a pleasure to get to talk to you again. And as the show goes on, and if you stay in the show, hopefully we'll get to interview you again in a few weeks. So that would be awesome. Absolutely. Thank I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. It's, it's been good talking to you. And uh, yeah, thank My you so pleasure. much. My pleasure. Also want to thank everyone for watching the interview live. Remember to follow Keegan on Instagram. Definitely show you support through social media. That really helps when it comes down to the show and all that. So don't forget to show your support there. And yeah, Keegan, I'll let you go, but have a great weekend. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you later. See ya. All righty, guys, that'll wrap it up for us. But remember, all of our interviews are here on our Instagram channel. We also repost them to our YouTube channel at Hollywood Junket.